Earlier today, we received the job report for April. These numbers tell us what we already knew, that right now, Canadians are hurting because of this pandemic. Everyone has their own story, but it all boils down to a very difficult time for a lot of people. Canadians aren't alone in this, as the world faces COVID-19. But if you're out of work, you don't need to hear that other people are out of work, too. You need to know that there is a plan to get you through this and get you back on the job. And that's exactly what this government is focused on. In the face of this unprecedented challenge, we've taken action. Maybe you're one of the more than 7 million people getting the CERB to make, help make ends meet. Or better yet, maybe thanks to the wage subsidy, your employer has been able to rehire you. That's what's happened for people who work at Pursuit, a Banff tourism company. They're back on the job because of this program. We created the Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy to protect jobs wherever possible. Since it launched last week, employers have applied for subsidies for almost 2 million workers. And as provinces and territories start to gradually reopen over the coming months, and the CERB becomes less and less needed, this subsidy will play an even greater role. That's why I can announce today that we will be extending the Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy beyond June to help kickstart our economic reopening and boost jobs. On other support, the Canada Emergency Business Account has been accessed by well over half a million businesses to give them much needed loans. Between the SIBA and the wage subsidy, we're helping employers across the country keep Canadians on the job. Now, even though we're reaching millions of Canadians, we need to reach even more. We're working around the clock to update and adjust so that help gets to as many workers, small businesses, families and young people as possible. We also know that some sectors have been hit especially hard. So we're stepping up on that too. Minister Baines will be leading a new Industry Strategy Council. Chaired by Monique Leroux, this council will take a deeper dive into how the pandemic is affecting specific sectors and how to best support them. We're leveraging expertise from the economic strategy tables we set up in the first mandate, as well as looking to new industry leaders. This will be a dedicated forum for industry and government to come together on tackling the effects of COVID-19. And it builds on what we've already done for workers in everything from energy to agriculture. On that note, Minister Gilbo will have more details at noon about how our $500 million package for arts, culture and amateur sport is now being rolled out to support workers in those sectors. This investment will help people access wage support and help organizations access funding. Our artists, creators and young athletes inspire us and help us feel connected even when we're at home. They're there for us and we're going to be there for them. From the beginning we recognized that we needed to constantly uh, adjust and improve the delivery of these unprecedented mechanisms uh, to support Canadians who are suffering uh, through this particular uh, crisis. Uh, that's why uh, we recognize that uh, there are uh, many different things we need to do as the economy starts to reopen. The uh, Canada Emergency Response Benefit uh, has always, had always been planned to last uh, longer uh, in, or had, a, had a, 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 a timeline that was already longer than the wage subsidy. But we recognize that as the economy starts to reopen, people will be uh, getting back to work, uh, leaving uh, the emergency response benefit and perhaps going on to the wage subsidy as employers bring people back on and get them back to work uh, as our economy picks up over the coming weeks and months. Uh, that's why we will constantly be adjusting to make sure that Canadians are getting the support they need as we look to carefully and gradually restarting our economy.